Earthbed. Hi, I'm Karel, and this is Earthpen. Today, we are going to talk about another fun topic in physics. It is all about motion in a straight line. Now, what is motion in a straight line? Objects move in motion, right? Those objects may move in one dimension, two dimensions, or three dimensions. Today, we are going to discuss the motion of an object in one dimension, and that is the motion in a straight line. Motion in a straight line can also be called linear motion. In linear motion, we will be talking about the position, displacement, velocity, and acceleration of an object. Alright, let's start with position. The position of an object along a straight line can be uniquely identified by its distance from the origin. What does that mean? It means that the object only moves in one coordinate in the Cartesian plane which may go to the right or to the left of the zero. The position of an object is relative to the reference frames. But what is a reference frame? A reference frame is an arbitrary set of axes from which the position and motion of an object are described. It means that it is where we base the motion of an object. Take for example a rocket to be launched to the outer space. Since the final destination of the rocket is in outer space, we can use the Earth as a reference frame. And from there, we can now calculate the position of the rocket with respect to Earth. But not all reference frames are stationary in a linear motion. Sometimes, there are also moving reference frames that we can use in getting the position of an object in motion. Take for example, we measure the position of a person in a boat traveling to another island. We don't have to use the Earth as a reference frame to get the position of the person in the boat. We can also use the boat as a reference frame to get the position of the person. But what if, after getting to that position, the person move again to another position? That is where the displacement comes in. The displacement of an object is the same as the distance traveled by an object in a particular direction. Take for example, a person is standing in front of a door. He decided to move to the table beside the door. The person now has an initial position which is in front of the door and a final position which is beside the table. The change in position is the displacement. The SI unit for the displacement is meter. And mathematically, displacement is given by delta x equal to final position minus initial position. Did you know that the fastest human ever to ride a bicycle is a woman? Yes, you heard it right. She is no other than Denise Mueller Carnet. She clipped her bike to the back of a dragster driven by racing driver Shea Holbrook. She had to be towed for the first section of the run because the gearing on her bike was so high that pedaling from a standing start wouldn't have been possible. At around 100 meters per hour or 160 kilometers per hour, she unclipped from the pace car and started accelerating. And from that, everything was history as she achieved 183.931 meters per hour or 296.009 kilometers per hour. She was instructed not to go over 175 meters per hour as it was very risky. But she did took the risk and set the world record as the fastest human ever to ride a bicycle. All right. Now going back to the topic, let us talk about the velocity of an object. The rate of change of displacement of an object in a particular direction is its velocity. The average velocity of an object is measured through the displacement between two points all over the elapsed time between the two points. We know what displacement between two points, right? But what about the elapsed time? 
Well, the elapsed time between the points is just the time taken to travel between those two points. Also, do note that the average velocity is a vector, which means that it can either be positive or negative. This usually depends on the positions of the initial position and final position. This means that if the object moves to the right, the average velocity is positive. An object moving to the left has a negative average velocity. The SI unit of speed is meters per second. Lastly, let us talk about the acceleration of an object in a linear motion. In physics, acceleration of an object is the rate at which the velocity of a body changes with time. It is a vector quantity with both magnitude and direction. Note that acceleration of an object is a vector that points in the same direction as the change of its velocity. But it may not always follow with the direction of the object's motion. What does this mean? It means that acceleration does not depend on the object's motion because acceleration may be in the opposite direction of its motion. An object may slow down, which means that the object is decelerating, and decelerating is the opposite of accelerating. The SI unit of acceleration is meter per second squared. Before we end, let us first summarize everything. Today, you learned about motion in a straight line. You also learned about an object's position, its displacement, velocity, and acceleration when in linear motion. Did you enjoy our topic today? I hope you certainly did. See you again next time for more interesting and fun topics only here in Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.